Where were you when we first landed on the moon in 69? I was sitting in front of black and white TV like everyone else, waiting breathlessly for, for this person to land on the moon and it was like, wow, dead quiet silence. You, couldn't, you could hear a pen drop. I'm here with Mary Coleman, Amazon customer and representative of Carter Burden Network, who supports older adults in the New York area, and they are leading the way with aging services. How do you use Alexa in your daily life? I work with the older uh, adults. During the pandemic, we had Alexa machines that we had given to some of the homebound and uh, disabled. We found that they were wonderful. They, they couldn't have asked for a better product in order to keep them in contact with their families. Recently, I've just been using it to play music. You got to do a tour of NASA earlier today. How was it? This is a dream that anyone should want to do. What stands out for you? Growing up, you know, you see things on TV, the space movies and what have you, but to, to actually be here and be a part of it, it's totally different because you can't imagine it, just seeing what you're seeing on TV. You can't, there's just no comparison. Would you like to see some views from I the would. spacecraft? I would. I really would. <laughs> <laughs> I really would, too. Rich, could you bring us up the external views from the camera? Is that cool? That is really something. So that was taken in the last 24 hours. Do you have live, like, right there? No. It's funny that you ask. Why don't you ask Rich if he could show us the live shots from, uh, from Orion? Could we please see the live shots? So this is, this is happening now. Right now. So what you are looking at um, is cab three and cab four cameras. On the left, this is a close up of the Callisto payload. Um, and on the right, this camera is showing you the view from the astronaut's seat. On the left there, that's Commander Munikin Campos. So now you have a dummy. And then the next one, you will have a real astronaut. Artemis 1, which we're doing now, is uncrewed. Right. Artemis 2 will be crewed and orbit the moon. And the intention for Artemis 3 is to be crewed and land on the moon. Can you imagine being on board such a mission? Oh, God. I would love to be on it. Yeah? Absolutely. Can you imagine? No. No. <laughs> You'd be like, ready, sign me up. If you could do it, if, you would go? If, if, I don't think they would sign me up, but if, if <laughs> I could, I, I certainly would because this is history. And to, to go back then when you first saw the moon landing and now come all these years later and the technology in this Alexa machine is talking to Earth and technology is really, it's unbelievable compared to when I was young. The Callisto payload is a technology demonstration between Lockheed Martin Amazon Alexa, WebEx by Cisco, and of course, NASA. And the intent of this technology demonstration is to discover, test, and learn how this commercial technology might one day benefit astronauts on future crewed missions. So a couple things that I would say. Number one, it's a test. Everything might not go flawlessly, and that's okay because every time we do this, it gives us another opportunity to learn. How might this um, intelligent assistant help astronauts on future crewed missions. Right. So that's what you're here to help us okay. test today. Are you ready? Ready. Okay. Alexa, how far from Earth are you? Alexa, how far from Earth are you? Currently, Orion's 175,586 miles away from Earth and 211,506 miles away from the moon. So your voice just traveled from Mission Control Houston up to the Orion spacecraft wow. at a distance of 175,000 miles away. Cool, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> if you're an astronaut and you're busy working on experiments or you have those gloves on yeah. and, or you're busy taking notes, now you have the ability to get the information that you need with the power of your voice. Right, right. Makes much faster. We're going to test another capability, which is the ability to use video conferencing capabilities uh, to communicate between the spacecraft and mission control. Would you like to place a call to the Orion spacecraft? Oh, I would. Okay, here we go. There we are. There you are. Yeah, there we are. 
Can you my see? My picture is actually up there. <laughs> yes, that is your image in space. And wow. look at this view right now, the way they've, uh, the ship has just turned, so that's the sun. See that bright light shining in the right, window? Right. The whole rest of mission, we've been looking at the darkness of exactly. space. And now we're getting this view of the sun coming in the window. That's very cool. That is. We're going to actually now test the whiteboard messages here at Mission Control are able to be transmitted up into the spacecraft. So you can imagine if you're trying to share notes or diagrams or images, we are going to have you sign the virtual logbook for all of our crew members. So you are going to commemorate your experience as a virtual crew member for oh, Artemis. Nice. So what was the coolest thing you saw today? Myself. <laughs> up in space or saw my signature. And then seeing all the equipment, how the space capsule is made and how large everything is. It's, I can say you can't imagine because seeing what you see on TV is nothing compared to actually being at NASA. So Mary, do you have final thoughts about your whole day here at NASA? It was really, really beautiful. Everyone here at NASA was, was wonderful to us. Thank you for choosing our center in order to do this. Happy to do it.